Next question. All right, these are the hardest questions in all of KSP, in my particular uh, perspective, where we have competing precipitates. Oh, yeah. Which precipitate will form? Because sometimes we have, we have, I like to call this the competing precipitate problems. Okay, so we've got sodium chloride. We need to kind of draw a picture or just box. This is our beaker. So let's try and figure out what we've got. Sodium chloride. So we've got sodiums and chloride. They dissociate it, right? And the mixture contains lead to nitrate. Nitrate, right? Yep. And silver nitrate. So we got like all kinds of things. But who's kind of going to make something happen here, Mr. Sam? Well, the chloride could go with the lead, and it could also go with the silver to make a precipitate on either one of those, because both of those are exceptions to our knuckle nestle rule. So first of all, the na the nanonos go away. So we have three things that can get together, because if you recall, all chlorides are soluble with the exception of lead two, so the PBCl two, or silver. So both of these are precipitates from our memory list, mm -hmm. right? And so which of these will form? And it has to do with the uh, concentrations and the KSPs and all that kind of yep. stuff. And the Q in this case. And the Q in this case. So what you do is you have to, I, I like to if I'm gonna do compete, I'm gonna take your paper and kind of divide by two. I'm gonna do PBCL2. I'm gonna write the KSP expression for each of these. PB2 positive plus two chlorides. And on this side, I'll say AgCl breaks apart into Ag positive and Cl negative. Mm -hmm. So write this out, and now we're going to go back to our problem, and we're going to get some numbers here. What do I know about uh, each of these numbers? We've got a 50 here? milliliter beaker, and it's 0 0.00015 molar lead to nitrate. So that's the lead 2. We, don't, we forget the nitrate. So if I go back here, the lead 2 here is 0 0.00015 molar. Yep. And then the silver, we go back and we find that number, triple O three five on that one. The silver was zero point zero zero three zeros? Uh, three zeros. Zero three five. So this breaks apart into leads and then two S for the chlorides. And this is going to break apart into S. Yeah. And so if you were to write the KSP expression, the KSP, I'll try and write small here so we can is the lead two positive times the chloride, in this case, squared. squared. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and solve for S. Now, the KSP of lead to chloride from the book... 1.6 times 10 to the negative 5. By the way, guys, um, I'm looking at my book, and I'm looking at that table we gave you earlier. The numbers tend to be different, and in the book it says values at 25 degrees Celsius. And oh. as we know, the K values can be different at different temps. The table that's in your handout is probably at a different temperature. It just doesn't seem to be labeled as what temperature, but that's why it's oh. different than the ones in the book. Yeah, I got that off of the Internet and mm. uh, Wikipedia, I think, ah, actually. pesky Internet. Yeah. All right, so you would solve for this. Um, so what do you get here, Mr. Oh, Sam? Oh, well, sorry, I'm too busy talking. Now, again, a warning anyway. on this particular problem here. When we have 2s squared, that's really 4s squared because it's the quantity 2s squared. It's yep. 2s squared, not 2s squared. All right, I have 0.163. So the molarity, okay, well, let's get the two numbers and we'll talk about what they mean. For this one, of course, we'll say that the KSP is equal to the Ag positive times the Cl negative. So um, the KSP of silver chloride is 1.6 times, times 10 to the negative 10. 1.6 times 10 to minus 10. Much smaller number, but uh, we have a different sort of factor. We don't have to square anything. Right. So 0 0.00035 times S. I think we're going to get a small number on this one. We are. This one is 4.57 times 10 to the negative 7. So now I want us to sort of vision this. envision this. Envision this. What you've got is you've got a beaker that contains lead ions and silver ions. It's also got the sodiums and the nitrates, but, but we don't care. And now you're essentially titrating, you know, from maybe a burette or something like that, you're titrating in here the chloride ions. When they come in here, they, can be attra they are attracted to both the lead and um, the silver. Which one is going to form first? Well, when the concentration of the chloride reaches 4.57 times 10 to the minus 7th, you will make AgCl. When the concentration of the chloride reaches 0.163, you'll make lead chloride. Mm. Well, which one will form first then? The silver one, because it's way smaller. You're going to hit that concentration very, very early. So once the concentration reaches that 4 number, 4.57 times 10 to the minus whatever it was, 6th or 7th? 7th. That's when you'll start making the silver. The lead is not going to form until you get it to 0.163. So therefore, the silver will form first. All right, the silver chloride yep. will form first. Okay. Uh, 